So if you want Adobe Acrobat Reader to behave the way you want, then what you can do is you can work around with preferences. And to do that, you can go to edit and then you can go to preferences right here. And then once you go into preferences, you can see that there are a lot of options that you can enable and disable. So let's say, for example, if you were to go to commenting, then you can work around with the commenting preferences. So by default, you can set out some font right here. You can work around with pop-up opacity and the font size and so forth. Over here in documents, you can work around with the last view setting option and so forth. So what you have to do is you have to go around and see what, what each of the preferences options provide you to, uh, provides you to work with. There's like full screen option right here, like current document only and so forth. And you can even set the background colors as you can see. There's general options right here, which allows you to create links from URLs and then uh, allows you to make hand tool read uh, articles and so forth, as you can see right here. So you also uh, can disable the warnings if you want to right here, if you don't want the warnings to be displayed. And over here, you got the page display option right here, like the page layout, which is set to automatic right now. But if you want to set it to two apps or like two up cont continuous and so forth, you can work around with that as well. And there's 3D and multimedia right here, uh, which you can enable and disable. So you can set it to DirectX or if you don't have a good graphics card or you have DirectX installed, then you can choose software as well. So there's different options like accessibility. So you can replace document colors uh, to help you with different things. There's like online services, which you can uh, enable and disable email accounts that you can add out. Uh, forms, uh, you can work around with form option, identity, to, uh, you can add in details, you can work around with internet settings and options right here, even uh, work around with JavaScript, whether you want to enable that or not. And you can work around with language settings to change out to a different language as well. So there's measuring 2D options. So there's option for measuring 2D and measuring 3D, like what you want to set it into, you can work around with it and even measuring geo. There's multimedia legacy format right here, which allows you to use Adobe Flash or built-in or Windows Media Player. So then you have a, a media trust right here, so you can really customize it out to what uh, you want the Adobe Acrobat Reader to be like. And you can go around into reading as well, and then set the reading volume right here, and a minimum number of pages in a last document and so forth as well. You can set the reviewing option as well, and you can work around with reviewer tracker, XP um, a tracker uh, as well over here. There's trust manager, which allows you to work around with PDF file and management and so forth. And you can work around with the page unit, which you can set to centimeter, uh, inches, meters, pike and, uh, pikes and so forth. And as you can see, there are a lot of options right here. And what you have to do is you have to go around and experiment with these uh, to see what works for you and what does not. And that is how you can explore the preferences inside of Adobe Acrobat Reader. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. <laughs>